Hey friends, welcome back to our table. It's the trucker and the nurse. So we love the Kirkland Prosecco so much that this week we decided to try a few other varietals. Along with that, a little Brie sampler. So let's get right into it. All right, let's do it. wine that we're going to do today is the Kirkland Pinot Grigio. I'm just going to go ahead and read the description directly off the bottle. Got it. The cool climate wine region Friuli is bordered by the Alps in northern Italy. Kirkland Signature 2019 Pinot Grigio displays a fragrant bouquet of crisp apple with a hint of white flowers. Bright acidity is followed by a clean refreshing finish. And alcohol volume on this is 12.5%. 12.5%. Looks like we're going to need a lot of it to get where we need to be at. <laughs> Taste the apple. Kind of light. Very young. Yeah. Citrusy, apple. Uh, I don't get the white flowers at all, honestly. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think it's mature enough. Around five yeah, bucks is what we got it for. Yep. So you can't complain too much. It's, it's easy going Pinot Grigio. Not one of my favorites, so. Let's see how it does with the breakfast brie. It's pretty good. It reminds me of a cheddar. Yeah. Of course. Right? <laughs> it has a little soft cheddar flavor to it, mm -hmm. but kind of mixed with like a Mexican style cheese. Definitely. All right. Um, kind of like panela or queso right? Mexico. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. right, so let's try it with the wine. Not bad. Mm. It makes the cheese a little bit more sour. Mm -hmm. The wine kind of disappears. Yeah. It's... Yeah, the cheese is just too much for this wine. It's kind of blah for me. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> not, not that great. All right. So, oops. I'm Next, we now. got the petite creme. So, petite creme. Creme. Sorry. Petite creme. <laughs> just to know, it's also kind of firm for a brie. It is firm. It's not bad. It's good. Very light compared to the breakfast brie. Not a fan of it. The pear just doesn't really work for me. I taste the brie and I taste the wine completely separate. It's not terrible, but. You know, something here is making my mouth feel very dry. I'm not quite sure what it is. I think it's this Pinot Grigio. Um, okay. We're, we're get, letting it get up to room temp mm -hmm. and um, it's getting a little drier as we're, as we're going along. Okay. Okay. We got the. Petite Camembert. I'll let you say that one. <laughs> Camembert. <laughs> this is a French triple cream brie, known to be a little bit buttery. Um, usually you're supposed to pair it up with a little sparkling, but uh, no sparkling today. Let's try. Let's let's try the Pinot Grigio. See see how it how it does. I like this one. I definitely like this one more than the other two. This cheese is nice and rich, buttery. Mm -hmm. It like brings all the acid out of the cheese and the wine at the same time. There's kind of like uh, this bitterness at the I, end, right? That is not pleasurable for me. It, <laughs> I'm <laughs> sorry. It just leaves a really bad taste on my tongue. Yeah, you know, I know we have these crackers sitting I'm, here, I'm, but I'm, honestly, my mouth is starting to feel so dry mm -hmm. that um, I don't know if I can eat a cracker. <laughs> Honestly, I just got to eat a cracker just to get that taste out of my mouth. That that was that was terrible for me. I didn't like it. No, not mm -hmm. at all, huh? Not at all. All right. Lastly, we have the petite truffle. It smells pretty strong. Mm. I kind of like truffles. Oh, wow. So it is a tasty cheese for me. Like the pepper goes straight up to my nose. <laughs> I feel like I'm smelling pepper. I can tell for her she might not like it because this is mm. this is a very oh god <laughs> <laughs> this is a very strong cheese. Um, that was awful for me. I I don't know if this is gonna go great with the Pinot Grigio, but I'm gonna try it anyways. That is very aromatic, very exaggerated flavors there. So, but I absolutely did not like it. <laughs> <laughs> Overall analysis on the Pinot Grigio against any one of these breeds? Uh, not a pair. 
No, not for me either. Sorry, Costco. Sorry, Kirkland. But uh, we weren't big fans of your Pinot Grigio. We got to be honest and truthful for the people out there. All right, for our second wine, straight out of the Marble Valley of New Zealand, we're going to do the Kirkland's brand Sauvignon Blanc. So I'm going to just go ahead and read the description straight off the bottle again. Excellent. So this Kirkland Signature Sauvignon Blanc from Key Point Vineyard in Marlborough, New Zealand has tropical fruit flavors, vibrant lemon, lime, citrus notes, and crisp acidity. Also 12.5 alcohol by volume. Well, Kirkland doesn't like us to get drunk. Ooh, grassy. What does that smell? You smell that? Mm -hmm. That's grassy. Right away. Right up top. Mm -hmm. Wow, that is zesty. Zesty. Lemon kiss. Of course. A little bit of that grapefruit. It's like a ruby red grapefruit. Yes, exactly. Ruby red grapefruit on this one, yep. definitely. And it's so zesty, It's it almost tastes like effervescence on your tongue. like. Like you would swear it was a slightly carbonated. Yes, that's exactly. Right? Yeah. The sweetness to it, the grassiness is there. Wow, you're quite the expert. <laughs> <laughs> I will say I'm not, I'm just not a fan right off the bat. Let's see how it does with the um, cheese. So we'll start with the breakfast, petite breakfast brie. It's good, I would purchase this alone. Um, maybe because it reminds me so much of cheddar. <laughs> It, it, it milds out the, the wine a little bit, but still not yeah. not so not perfect together. So let's get right on to the Petite Creme. Oh, I think we're just striking out today. Yeah, today was not a good buy. I know. You know, maybe it was our mistake by not getting a bubbly today. This is what the show's about. Trying to experiment, see see what uh see what works and what doesn't work. Yeah, I mean we were just at Costco shopping, we saw these deals, we saw the cheese, and we're like, hey, let's pick it up, let's try it out and see how it works. Well, we're finding out that um, it doesn't it work. Doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next we got the um, how do you pronounce that again? Camembert. I mean, I like the cheese, um, but it the, it just doesn't. Really work. Um, I think that's my least favorite pair, as far as the cheese goes, to the wine. Um, that cheese needs a sparkling. I, I think, I think it needs a sparkling. Okay. Um, because it's, it's just, it's terrible with the Sauvignon Blanc and the Pinot Grigio. I'm, I'm done with that one. Lastly, we have the truffle, the petite truffle brie. Um, <laughs> For yeah. camera's sake, I'm gonna try it with the wine, but I really did not like it. Okay. I could go as far as saying I hate it. <laughs> She's <laughs> being brave for you guys out there. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, new <laughs> worst pair of the night. Yeah. Woo! It's like the pepper. I feel like I have like, a pepper grinder oh, in my nose. I can't even like straighten up my face right now. <laughs> it's just, it just tastes bad. Like the pepper, there's some bitterness in there. Uh, what, it just, uh, what it else just, is bad about it? So gosh. that they could understand. Okay. <laughs> I mean, the, the aromatic of the truffles is just going way far left. The citrus and the tanginess of the wine is just going the complete opposite way. <laughs> um, these things, they just do not go together at all, whatsoever. Don't try it. It's terrible. This is the this worst is, we've ever done. This is probably the worst pairing that we have done. I don't think we found one pair, not even like a close pair. There's just tolerable pairs today. Yeah. Um, personally, I will not be buying any of these items again. You? Man, that was pretty <laughs> harsh. All in all, after everything today, uh, we found out that this um, this Brie sampler does not pair well with either of these two wines. Uh, Sauvignon Blanc, I would not be drinking it. Um, even if somebody offered it to me, I'd probably say no thank you. <laughs> uh, the Pinot Grigio, I'll, I'll have a glass, but um, also not my favorite. <laughs> Costco, you guys got to step your wine game up. Um, your Prosecco is 
excellent though. Yes, that is definitely one of my favorites. I buy it every time. All right, now how about the brie cheeses for you? I can't say I'll be, well, I'll be wanting to buy this four pack again. Sorry to disappoint, um, but we did not find any pairs. But at the same time, we put our pallets on the line so you don't have to. Boy, did I with that truffle cheese. <laughs> Um, if you like this version of the series, we're going to try to start doing this more. Um, last week we did Bogles, this week we did Kirkland's. Um, what other big wines do you want to see us do? you want to see us do Sutter Home or Kendall Jackson or uh, other big names, Josh Sellers? Let us know in the comments down below which wines you would like to see us try next time. Until then, We'll see you next time at our table and thank you for joining us. Cheers. Cheers.